octagonal prisms regular. This is the octagonal prism. Eight sides, uniform shape, and the base the same as the top. We're given a square, 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters, and we're told to fit an octagon into that. To do that, draw the diagonals, and then using the compass, set from the corner of the square to the center point, mark an arc, and repeat that on the four corners. And the points you're finding on the sides of the square are the corners for the octagon. And just line in the octagon. And that's the plan complete. And that's the way it looks there. Now we're asked to draw on this XY line, looking at it from the front. So we we'll position the arrow on top of it like that, and then look along the arrow. This is the view we'll see. See those three surfaces. The blue surface, which is the front one there, and the orange one along the right hand side, and the yellow on the left hand side. So to do that we project the points up. So drawing all the points up to the elevation and taking the height and lining the four lines on the top. And that's the view coloured in. And that's the way it was on the model. The orange surface and the blue surface and the yellow surface. Given this x y on 60 degrees, asked to look at that at 90 degrees to the x y line. So again, fitting the arrow on here. Now if we look directly at down that arrow, the view we'll see, we'll actually see four surfaces here. Blue, yellow, green and pink. One, two, three and four surfaces. So we have to project up from the plan and draw across at the top. So to do that, go up at 30 degrees. So bring all the points up and now these front points and the back points will be dotted lines but these are the front points that we can see and now these back points are dotted lines. Dotted line again and one more dotted line and then line in the top of the prism. And that's it complete and that's it colored in. And now look at the model again. Looking along the arrow, this is what we see here. So that's it there exactly. Blue, yellow, green and pink. We're given this X, Y line at 45 degrees and we're projecting down from the elevation. So this view up here, that's it up there in that view. So we're projecting along that arrow. So if we look along the arrow, that's the view we're going to see. We're going to again see three surfaces and the top surface. For us to find this now, we have to take the distances in the plan. Now we can take the distances from the X, Y line, but if well, that's what we have done before, but if we take that distance there and mark it out here, we'll be very far out on the sheet. 
So what we've done is we've introduced a new line here and we'll take the distances from the new line like that and mark them on this line up here. So with the slip of paper, mark these points. Now we'll just call that the YY line for the moment and mark it there again so that we know where we start and then point two three and four mark those distances on make sure that yy point is on the xy line and mark point one two three and four Now draw those points parallel with the XY line. Parallel with the XY line. That's your four distances lined out. Now to to choose the points we're going to use two pencils here the top point here in the elevation is two points in the plan so these two points here is point two and three so if we bring that point down and mark it on two and three this point is here in the plan it's at one and four so one and four so come down along here and mark it on one and four. Next point, again, still one and four. Mark it on one and on four. And the last point here is these last two and it's on two and three and mark those two points there. The bottom of the prism, again, it's the same thing this point is these two points, two and three, so two and three. This point is one and four, and this one is one and four. And the last one there is two and three. And now that's our shape ready for lining in. So just line in the points now, join the points. This is the top surface, which we will see. And that's part of the base, which we'll see. And then line in the lines that are visible. There's a couple of hidden lines here at the top, mark them in. And then there's a couple of hidden lines here in the base. And that's the drawing complete. And now that's it colored in. This is the way it was here. So with the arrow, now if we look along the arrow, that's the view there now. So bluey green surface, the red surface and the orange surface. And that's it lined up like that. And that's octagonal prisms regular complete.